Okay? This is true. I swear to God, it's a true story. I was then in this company, and I was cast as the doctor in Macbeth. And there was a leading actor in the company who was very British, very English, who had a kind of an attitude towards the Irish. Mm. He used to call us paddies and mix. Ah. And he thought that I shouldn't have this tiny little part as the doctor. I okay, should be carrying right. a spear. Right. <laughs> and he was so rude to me through the whole rehearsals, so rude you can't believe. Now, in the mid, just the middle of the play, lay, and, he's, and, and this, um, this English actor is playing Macbeth, the king. And at the, at the center part of the play, the queen dies. He doesn't know she's dead. And I played the doctor. And I have to make my one appearance, and he stands as the king and says, How goes the queen? In his posh English accent. And I have to say, you must remember this now, I have to say, The queen, my lord, is dead. To which he now, that's his cue for the most important soliloquy in the entire play, which is, he, re he responds and he says, She should have died hereafter. Tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow creeps in this petty pace from day to day to the last syllable of recorded time. And he's been waiting to say this famous speech. And I think I'll get him back, all right. <laughs> I'll fix him in the opening night. So suddenly it comes. And he comes out. He stands with his crown, his beard. And he turns to me and I enter. He says, how goes the queen? And I say, ah, oh, she's fine. <laughs> Oh, she's terrific. <laughs> oh, Desmond. Oh. And you can hear me. And you can hear. And you can hear me in the corridor shouting, "Taxi!" As I'm, <laughs> oh my God, fired. she's fine. She'll be up in about oh, ten she, minutes. She's fine. She'll be up in about ten minutes. She's perfect. <laughs> and he stood there. What could he do? No harm. Oh, but I imagine you never look that again. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always glad to tell you that. She's fine.